In this video, we're going to explore the concept of aromatic hydrocarbons. And the images and examples are all adapted from our Cognity Higher Level Chemistry textbook. So aromatic hydrocarbons are also known as arenes, and they got their name from their distinct odors, which we now know are actually hazardous. Um, the functional group is a benzene ring or a phenol group. And the simplest arene is benzene. And a man known as Kekulé proposed the structure below for benzene um, in 1865. So his proposal was that um, you had a six carbon ring with alternating double bonds. And then those double bonds could switch positions like so. So these were the two options for benzene. So there are a few problems with Kekulé's model and we've been, as we know more about um, bonds and molecules, we've realized that his proposal was incorrect. So we now know that all the bonds in benzene are the same length. They're 140 picometers rather than the differing lengths for his proposal of single and double alternating bonds. Um, also, all the bonds have the same strength and a single and a double bond have differing strengths. Um, and if you have one, two di-substitute benzene molecules, they only have one isomer rather than the expected two. So if there were, um, if it was his model, you would have this isomer or this isomer alternating as the two options, but instead you just have one, two di-substituted benzene. So there's not that um, options of two different isomers. There are still more problems with Kapule's model. So if benzene had double bonds, it should undergo addition reactions, but instead of undergoing addition reactions, um, it undergoes electrophilic substitution. So if you look um, in his theory, we should have been able to add three hydrogens across um, those double bonds to make cyclohexane, and that's not what happens. Um, and the enthalpy change for the hydrogenation for benzene is much less than the expected value. So if there were three double bonds, the enthalpy changes should be negative 360 kilojoules per mole, and instead it's only 200, negative 208 kilojoules per mole. So the actual structure for benzene is that you have each carbon bonded to two other carbons and one hydrogen, and that would be in a trigonal planar arrangement. And since only three of each carbon's electrons is involved in bonding, the remaining electrons are just delocalized into two donut-shaped rings, both above and below the plane of the molecule. And these delocalized electrons are in what is called a pi electron cloud or a delocalized pi electron cloud. So benzene can undergo substitution reactions, and we'll look deeper at that um, when we do some further um, organic chemistry reactions. Um, so they undergo substitution reactions rather than addition reactions. This maintains the stability of the ring. If you underwent addition reactions, you would be breaking the double bonds. Um, and note, um, this happens as electrophilic substitution. And electrophiles are electron deficient groups. And again, we'll look further in detail at this later on. Benzene can also undergo combustion reactions just like any other hydrocarbon. So you'd have benzene burning in oxygen to make carbon dioxide and water. 